auction off what you love. It will come back sometime. Lock it up, what you love. Mixes, let me be mine. Oh, auction off what you love. It will come back sometime. Lock it up, what you love. And it says, let me be mine. Let me be mine. You're gonna take a love of chocolate with you when you go. Go ahead and take a love of chocolate, yeah, just go. Mm, just go. All right. So, we're trying to get our day started, and um, <laughs> you want to just explain what, what just happened? And so we basically tried to go up this incredibly yeah. long, windy dirt road up to the trailhead. It got to a point where it was so muddy and so overgrown that we could barely get this little Ford Fusion up there. And then we hit a spot where it was just logging, and just you just couldn't get through, and we just had no idea where the trailhead was. No real signs, nothing to give us any real indication. So we just decided to say, screw it and turn around. Yeah, so uh, we're not doing Abraham. Uh, we're probably gonna go right up to uh, Sugarloaf, go up one of the ski trails, go back down. Probably gonna just bring a water bottle and like a granola bar. Um, Cause it's like a four mile climb total. Um, just to get something in today. <laughs> uh, my, disappointing. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Um, the uh, the road system, the the access for hikers out here is quite frankly terrible. Um, There's just no signs or markings of anything no. really. It's no, just, nothing's marked. This isn't like the Adirondacks or the, the white no, whites. It's just it's, it's so different out here. It's just unless you're in the Appalachian Trail area, there is nothing for you. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> It's like the so luckily most of them yeah. are on the Appalachian Trail, and this one, you know, up top is. So we'll probably end up doing it from the other direction next time. Yeah, so when it, that road is finished. <laughs> when, when, when they finally put bridges up on the Caribou Pond Road. At least that road seemed like it was going somewhere. Yeah, we'll we'll, um, we'll try our hand at it some other weekend. But for now, we're, we're just honestly, it's just such a nice day. We we're probably just going to go do Sugarloaf and uh, call call it a day. I mean. <laughs> what else do we really have to do at this point? We could uh, try to integrate in the locals and try to keep people off our lawns, but that's... <laughs> uh, man, so... Fortunately, I'm back on pavement now, which is really nice. <laughs> I never thought I'd be so happy to see a poorly maintained road before. Uh, man, but uh, we'll... I guess we'll see when we're at the Sugarloaf Park in a while. Like we're gonna go 50. <laughs> so we just took a little bit of a pit stop, um, trying to get a little bit more information on the area, and we found a solid little spot. Um, it's called Salampa's Trading Post and Outfitters. Yeah, there was pretty helpful. He hooked us up with a few maps. This place, um, Kingfield, Maine. Yeah, Kingfield, Maine. So if you're out in the area. Looking for information, he gave us a few free maps and uh, we, we got bought gear and stuff too. Yeah, bought ourselves a free little top of well, not a free top, but an eight dollar top of map of the area. But um, it's been kind of tough sledding <laughs> as far as accessibility out here. So uh, it seemed like we we're going the right way, it just the road wasn't in any good condition for this car, at least. Yeah. Yeah, the guy kind of said, all right, you're driving a Ford Fusion. I don't think we were wrong. We just, yeah. there's just not a lot of help up here for hikers. No. Nope. You have to earn it up here. Part of the challenge up here, I guess. See, they made the 46ers pretty accessible, but up know. here, it, they haven't really put on the hiking up here, I don't think. No. You have to earn it. Winter town. Definitely a winter town. You have to earn it up here. Okay, so we made it to Sugarloaf. Um, we're just gonna go right up the mountain and down. Quick day. Probably only take us two and a half, three hours to do the whole thing, but we just wanted to get something in. Um, it's uh, 
kind of a frustrating morning as far as finding a spot to hike so we're gonna pack really light a couple waters maybe a granola bar and just go well this is about as casual of a hike as it's ever gonna get for us we're gonna be just going up a ski trail uh, tote road <laughs> this is what we're gonna try to do hopefully it's not like saddleback a few days ago and we don't end up on like Crocker or something <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> this is just going to start ascending right away, so we'll probably be stopping frequently, which I'm totally okay with today. And, uh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we've been going up pretty, pretty steadily. I mean, it's going to be a slow go. The two days of hiking before this... The legs are a little bit, uh, I want to say sore, but just kind of dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, this is better than, I think, going straight up the damn thing. It's, uh, kind of winding around the side on one of the trails there. So, but, uh, it already looks nice up here. Trying, breeze. trying to stay out of this stuff, too, because I'm pretty sure it's poison oak. But, uh, Not good. yeah, just, uh. A little food for thought if you don't want to be itchy. I want to stay out of that. I've been trying to avoid it. So I've been walking around it, not through those patches. But uh, up the slide we go. Two miles of a uh, grassy trail and black flies. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. I think my idea is when we get to the top, my way down is going to be a uh, Find a blue trail and just go straight down the damn mountain. Because we're kind of going up and around here. Might even somersault down. Yeah, might even somersault down. It could be fun. Let's find a toboggan up top of this sort of town. See if we can fire up one of the ski lifts. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure they would be pretty pissed off at that point. Well, we followed the right trail this time. We just came up Tote Road, which is where I think you're supposed to go. And uh, summit right, right up there. So we're making headway. As soon as we get over this bump here, we'll uh, be pretty close. So we're uh, hoping to just kind of uh, keep taking this pretty easy pace all the way up. We've kind of been going get to the top of a bump and stop. It's like doing a leg workout, it's like sets. <laughs> Dodge black flies, continue, repeat. Breeze yeah, breeze kind of knocks them down a little bit, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Sunny day. It's a hot day, but the wind's kind of countering it. Oh, yeah. Like Up top should be nice. This is like perfect condition. Yeah. Not like the saddlebag. No. No, I'd prefer to forget that nightmarish ascent. <laughs> now I kind of see why they call it Tote Road. We're on a road. <laughs> About a third of the way up the mountain. <laughs> nothing, really nothing would have stopped us from driving up here. They'd probably be wondering why there's a few Ford Fusion on the summit though. <laughs> the police are waiting for us to the bottom. Yeah. I just want to talk to you. Handcuffs and guns ready to go. Oh man, the thoughts that go through my head. Cool thing about hiking a uh, ski trail, so I already got pretty darn good views of the valley. You can uh, see where we came from. What we did yesterday. Yeah, right there, there's a ski lodge. And then uh, up there, those are the Bigelows. So you got West Peak on the left there, Avery on the right, and then that's uh, the Horn over there. You got the idea now. Which uh, we didn't, we didn't climb that because it, it's not required. But just by looking at it, I'd say the prominence is not there, and I don't even know if the elevation's there. The prominence is there. It's just not the elevation. Yeah, probably not quite 2,000, but uh, prominent. Yeah, and then just kind of 
the rest of the northern Maine into the nothingness. <laughs> Pretty cool. We're going up there and uh, and up. I'm just gonna follow this road, I guess, because it's whatever way it takes us. What well, all roads lead to the top, or at least in theory. Yeah. I mean, we'll see what's going on here, but uh, there's this little uh, stream which looks somewhat promising to kind of walk up. Somewhat. You think we could make that work? Yeah. Just kind of like anyway. moseying the stream bed and then. Yeah. You could see a little. Yeah. Almost hiking trail. Yeah. Gotta go up anyway at some point. Yeah, for sure. Hey, look, there's snow. <laughs> and more snow. But yeah, I think we're gonna just give this whole, this whole thing a try here. There's uh, not really much method to this. <laughs> we're just following what looks like the easiest way up, and uh, this is as good as anything, so probably end up taking two or three breaks halfway up that big trail there, but uh, whatever. Taking an easy pace today. Yeah, we're halfway up this big trail. We still gotta get to the top. We were just zigzagging the whole way and then I just kind of said screw it and I went in a straight line. It's okay, we're good at that. We are experts at not going the way we're supposed to. I think my car's still there though, hopefully. Yeah, uh, that's too bad. Uh, well, can't beat the views, can't beat the weather. The higher up we go, the fewer bugs too, which is a very nice. Uh, we're not in a hurry at all today. We're just taking a sweet time up this mountain. Plenty of, plenty of daylight. <laughs> Andrew's ready to rock again, so. <laughs> I imagine doing this for like three days straight would be like climbing Everest. <laughs> this is why you don't skip leg day. Never, never skip leg day. This is my first leg day. Andrew's first leg day. It's going surprisingly well, all things considered. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I have zero complaints. No. No, we're pretty high up. Here's the lift on the top of the ski. I'm hoping, I believe that is the uh, top of the ski lift. So hopefully we'll have a map. Yes. I think we will probably. Yeah, there usually is one. All right, you know, so people don't kill themselves going down the mountain when they're skiing. It's nice to have a map. I guess that is Death is a strong deterrent. They made us check in at that hotel uh, just so you know we could have sued them if we died. Yeah. Which is for search and rescue. Purposes. Yeah, right. It's really, insurance purposes, yeah. legality, liability. You don't want to. I get it. It's okay. The same thing I have to tell people when I tell them I can't. Uh, I can't do carry out to their car. I have to pull up to the curb. Why is that? Well, for insurance purposes, the company doesn't want me to get hit by a car in the parking lot. Huh. It's like it's inconvenient, but. So I get it. We get it. Don't really care either, so. Alright. So in case anyone's wondering what it's like to go and hike up a double diamond. That's what we just did. Yeah, we just did that. And uh, we're gonna walk around this nice road, which is strangely in better shape than the one I drove on earlier today. There's the top of that. Oh, good. We're, uh, holy hell, out of breath, for sure. Yo, my legs feel buff, though, bro. Andrew's legs are feeling pretty, uh, good, bad, how'd you rate them? They feel strong. Strong? I like it. Like, if I did that five years ago, I wouldn't have, you know, we wouldn't have been around, but. Andrew would have been, uh, taking the somersault track down the mountain there. Is that up on our, is that, that little, little cabin up there? Somewhere, somewhere. 
Hopefully. Holy shit. Kind of hard to tell, but I think that's the, uh, the summit. <laughs> I think. Again, though, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if there's more beyond those trees that I just can't see because of the angle we're at, but... Oh. So much for a casual hike. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Well, it's just starting to look a little more promising. All I can say is, anyone's ever skied this mountain, it looks pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. I don't. All I see are black diamonds. Uh, hiking though, I'll give it a black diamond for sure. Look at this. Maybe in December. We'll give the lift a shot. Oh, not the summit, but oh, yet close. There is one lift that goes to the summit. And we are the cinder hole. The what? The cinder hole. That's a thing. Is that the trail we went up? Yeah. All right. Whatever. I think that way is the way. Up and over. Is that lift's gonna go to the summit? Oh, Freaking balls. All right. Hey, look, the crockers. The, what? the crockers. That's what those are. Oh. Yeah. Ah. ah, screw it. <laughs> Let's just go up here. <laughs> That's it up there. Not much further, but oh, tired, freaking tired. That's all I gotta say. We have renamed all these trails the Guggen Express. That will be the new hiking trail to the summit. Because we don't know where we're going. We, no clue where we're going. Except up. Up, up was the goal. And uh, we've at least crisscrossed three or four different trails yeah. just messing around. I want to I want to write that down on the map. We blaze that trail. Oh, boy. That, that is the summit. Hopefully. Do we have to climb to the top of the cell tower for this to count? Oh, this is uh, this is uh, exhausting. Yeah, doing things the easy way is overrated. Let's go the hardest way possible up to the summit. I feel more accomplished that way. As opposed to the last two days. Uh, today the wind feels absolutely glorious. Just uh. like kids, and then there's a carn. This is it, baby. Uh. Number fifty, whatever. Part of the mistake of this is Yeah. Okay. View of this. Oh, I'll take a break and we'll uh, show you around the summit. 
All right, so time to go on a little tour of the summit, full with a whole bunch of cell towers. <laughs> cell towers and black flies. That's pretty much what we got up here. At least the wind is doing somewhat of a number on the flies. Uh, so this way, you're looking at the Bigelows, which we were on yesterday. Over there. And then looking a little more to the north, we have Crockers and Reddington, which we planned on hiking, but due to horrendous road conditions, we're unable to. <laughs> and we got this, which basically the summit here or the tippy top and then there's Abraham which we were also trying to do today um, once again encountering horrendous road conditions and uh, Spalding right behind that, that light tower and then if we're looking way off into the distance I mean way off out there is a presidential range in the White Mountains. You can see very faintly, but you can see Mount Washington. Uh, the rest of the presidential is over there. And, uh, we're planning on climbing Old Spec, which is somewhere in that general direction um, tomorrow. And, uh, that big one right there in front of us, those are uh, the saddlebags of the world. So, uh, summit here, pretty nice. It's been fun on the summit messing around with the cell towers, knocking out cell service to the entire area. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> we're going to head off this thing now and uh, make our way home. Well, not home, but back to the uh, hotel and then figure out something to do. Check out some of the other local towns and uh, call it a day. So. Down we go, through the bugs and ski ski trails. Let's try to make a way down that's not like murderous. <laughs> we're coming down and uh, we're going to go down the cinder hoe. <laughs> oh man. We're literally, I think we're just going to be picking up ski trails and walking down at this point. Uh, we're having way too much fun with this day right now. Not that you can ever have too much fun, but this is... Uh, man. In the last 30 hours, we've, you know, done some things. <laughs> done some weird... We've had two access roads basically not work for us. We've hiked up countless ski trails. Maine's kind of just shrugging its shoulders at us right now. Oh, man. We tried to plan this whole trip out, so it so made sense. Kind of <laughs> Pretty much nothing worked out the way we planned. Um, but we've got some great footage. Okay, great footage. Five mountains done so far. One more tomorrow. And uh, call it a vacation. <laughs> well, the cinder hose is nice and gradual. I'm a fan of it, to be totally honest. Those good old blue square trails. Okay, cinder ho, you getting a little overgrown. We'll make our way to where the lift is. Because it's much less so. <sighs> ah, that's better. Much better. Ah, man. Well, 
having fun today. I can't say we're not having fun. If we keep going down like this, though, we're going to be down in like eight minutes. Which isn't a bad thing. Well, this is much easier than the cinder hoe. We've already descended a ton, and it's been like, seriously, 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> probably only going to be another half hour, and we'll be done. This is a... Definitely, I mean, this is a, just a straight up road here to get to the summit. Working on those towers and uh, other parts like the lifts and stuff. Nope, my shoe's untied. I'm gonna have to snap for that. There's a tote road, which is the suggested route. Andrew's taking a gander at double bitter. And what is that exactly? That's the uh, straight way down. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Do we go the straight way down? <laughs> or do we go the suggested way down? <laughs> We've been completely winging this descent the whole way. So, I don't know. I don't know what we do. What to do? Give up, I guess. Oh, what do I have to say here? Yeah. Search and rescue, let's call them. <laughs> I suggested if we needed any help to call search and rescue. I'm like, okay. Got it. Cool. Going down the mountain. Doing the little shuffle down. Trying not to lose your balance and end up on YouTube for terrible reasons. Now I'm gonna run to kind of I went for a jog down this like lawn. This is gonna be the worst video ever because it's shaking like hell. Andrew's winning. He's still he's still winning. Gravity, baby. Gravity, baby. Okay. Even ground, even ground. <sighs> okay. Take it all in. Yeah, just take it all in. One last, uh, one last little sit. You can see the uh, top of the uh, hotel at the base lodge down there. So we're almost done. Another first for us today. The first time we ever ran down a mountain. Yeah, we ran. Literally, for an extended period of time. Crazy. We do crazy things. Yeah. Crazy, some would say stupid. Uh, I like crazy. Crazy has a little bit more, you know, open-ended interpretation. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think we are intelligent people. We just tend to not... Yeah, we're intelligent. We just suffer from mental illness. It's okay. Not really, but... Well, maybe. Yeah. All right, let's get out of this. Let's get out of here. Well, after going down God knows how, uh, we're done. Back at the bottom, I'm gonna assume we did that in probably a little over an hour. I haven't really looked, but that was the quickest descent of a mountain of all time. Or at least of our yeah. all time. <laughs> we did uh, good. Yeah, we did good. Quite literally, running at certain points just because it was easier than having my quads fight gravity <laughs> uh, so we got to go into that uh, hotel and tell that lady that we're we're alive and that they don't have to call search and rescue everything's good and then uh, we'll get out of here all righty <laughs> so to sum up sugarloaf that was uh I don't even, I don't know what we did. <laughs> Climbed up the ski trails randomly. Yeah, we just said, that trail looks good, let's go up that one, and uh, pretty much did the same thing on the way down. Um, 
down was much easier. You know something, after the morning we got off to, we just decided to say whatever today. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. We just threw all plans out the window. It's just said, go, go climb that thing. And that's pretty much what we did. Um, as far as difficulty, I mean, it's not a long hike at all. From this side? No, <laughs> no, I mean, it is taxing, granted, going up. Yeah. I mean. But I wouldn't say it was even as bad as, uh, wait a minute, it. Yeah. I felt worse, but that was probably because of the rain. Yeah. Probably I mean, that was pretty equivalent. Look up there, I mean, we're, we're right at the base of the mountain, so it's, it's a lot of ascent in a short period of time, but with that being said, I mean, I'd give this maybe a three or four for difficulty. Yeah. And then, um, I mean, the views, the, uh, the cell towers and stuff kind of ruined it for me a little bit. Um, Overall, they were good though, without the towers. With, with the towers up there, I mean, it takes a, a nine or a 10 view rating, I'd knock it down to like a seven or eight, seven. yeah. Seven. I'll go with seven. Seven sounds good, but uh, that's, uh, overall it was a good day. Can't complain, I mean, we wanted to get a mountain in, we were getting frustrated with how some of these roads uh, do not grant us a lot of access, and uh, we're, uh, we made out okay. We got our mountain in, and uh, we're gonna head out of here happy. All right, one more, one more day out in Maine, old spec tomorrow, so gonna go on a little drive for that one, Hopefully there's access.